Hello everyone, so we're going to be working with Flash. Uh, this is one of the first projects that we've done with Flash and uh, the goal is for you to get comfortable with the Flash interface. We're going to make a very basic animation and uh, I just want you to get comfortable with how Flash works and what kinds of things you can do with it. So these are the basics. Now we went over this in class today so hopefully this will help you practice at home. Here's an example of what we want to make right now. We want to make a ball go from what, the left side of the screen and go all the way through the right side of the screen. That's our goal. So to create that, we're going to be working with a program called Flash. Now right here, we're going to create a new document and we're going to be working with ActionScript 2.0. You'll see there's a 3.0, but we're not going to be using that for now. So just ignore that and click 2.0. Once you've done that, you'll see right here we have this big white box. This box is your stage. This is where all the action happens, animations or buttons or whatever you're going to do. They all go on the stage. You'll notice our stage our, or our scene is called scene one. Uh, over here, this is the name of our file. It's called untitled four because I haven't saved it yet. Our menus are up here. Over here on the right side is the properties. The properties can be for a tool or it could be for an object on the stage. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, just to the left of properties you have your zoom and we're not going to work with these but this is for your scene and to edit symbols don't worry about those for now on the top right you have your library it's empty right now but in a minute this is where your uh, objects or your symbols are going to go we'll explain that shortly on the far far right over here we have your tools or your toolbar and on the bottom you have your timeline now we're going to be working with this a lot the timeline has layers. You can have multiple layers just like in Photoshop. And you'll notice that you have all these rectangles. Each rect rectangle symbolizes a, a, uh, a frame. And we talked about this earlier about how animation works so you should already know what those do. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new symbol. Anytime you want to make an object move, um, which is considered tweening or tween, T-W-E-E-N, uh, I can create a symbol to make that object tween from left to right. So the tweening is when the object is moving from left to right, up to down, or transitioning somehow. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But for it to do that, it has to first be a symbol. So I'm going to go up here to insert, and we're going to click on new symbol. When I click there, it's going to ask me for the name. So I'm going to give it an appropriate name. It's a red ball, so I'm just going to call it red ball. You don't have to call it that, but I would usually try to name it something appropriate so that I'll remember what it is later. Uh, the other thing is a, the type. The type is going to be a graphic. You can also click movie clip, click or, clip or button, but uh, we're not going to be working with those for now. So we're going to be animating a graphic. Say OK. And pay attention to what just happened. A moment ago, we were over here inside scene one. As soon as I clicked OK, you notice that we're inside red ball. So we're no longer on the stage for scene one. We are inside the symbol called red ball. You'll also notice that in the center, there's this little anchor, this little uh, crosshair. That symbolizes the center of the symbol. So whatever I draw inside the symbol must be close to this anchor, preferably right in the middle of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my toolbar, click and hold the oval tool. Or actually, if it was the rectangle tool, you would click and hold it to get to the oval tool. If it's already the oval, then good for you. That's great. So what we're going to do next is I want you to notice what these two things do. Let's zoom in on it. Up here, the pencil symbolizes the stroke. That's the outline around the oval or the circle. And the paint bucket symbolizes the fill. That's what color the ball or the oval is going to be. So I want my stroke to be completely blank. So to make it blank, you notice that I clicked on this little slash, this white box with the slash through it. That means nothing. It's just blank. And over here, for the fill, I'm going to choose the color red. And let's see, where's red here? pick the color red. And from there, let's zoom back out. I'm going to 
click and drag my mouse on the diagonal line. Now you'll notice that I can make an oval, but if I want to make a perfect a circle, if I hold shift, the computer or flash will automatically keep the uh, proportions the same. I can use this tool here. This is called the selection tool, the black one, and highlight the circle and move it so that it's right in the center. Notice that I highlight it. I can also click and move it, but it's a really good habit to just highlight the whole thing and move it. Later on, if your objects have uh, strokes and things like that, um, it can give you some trouble. So watch out for that. Anyways, from there, I can go back to scene one, which is right here. Now I am no longer in the symbol. I am back on the stage in scene one. The ball is gone. Where did it go? It went up here to the library. So if I click on the library, I'll see red ball there. If it's missing, you can go to window and then click on library, which is right here. Mine's already checked, it's already there, but in case it's missing, that's how you get to it. I'm going to take the red ball and I'm just going to drag it over to the stage. There it is. And you'll notice down here, let's zoom in again, the color of this uh, frame became grayed and this circle inside became black. That means there's something inside of it now. So that's a good thing. Let's zoom back out. From here, I'm going to go to frame 60 and I'm going to insert a keyframe. Now we talked about frame rate in class. My frame rate is 24 frames per second. So right now it's about two, a little over two seconds long. If I play my movie now, absolutely nothing happens. It just stays there. So I'm actually going to go to frame 60 and click on it so that it's highlighted blue. I'm going to drag my ball over. I'm going to hold shift to make sure that it stays on this line. If I let go of shift, you can see it can go up and down. But I'm going to hold shift to keep it straight on. I'm going to let go of the mouse and the ball is now over here. So if I play my movie again, it starts on the left, it stays there, stays there, stays there, and then magically it appears on the right. We want to make a smooth transition. To do that, we're going to create something called a tween. What a tween basically does is I'm going to tell Flash the ball starts here, it ends here, and I want you to fill in everything in between. So to do that, I'm going to go to the first frame. You can also right click anywhere along the, the frames here, but I'm going to right click on the first frame and I'm going to go to create classic tween. You'll notice that it changed. It has a little arrow going across now. So if I play my movie now, you can see the ball smoothly goes from left to right. And that's how you create a motion tween. Practice that, play around with it, add more, uh, more objects or more symbols that can go from left to right. You can drag as many of these red balls out as you want um, and uh, get some practice. Good job and we'll see you with the next project.